Uh, my goal today is to convey our swing decision process at the University of Missouri. We're trying to produce selectively aggressive hitters. Uh, and that just simply means that our overall goal is to get a good pitch to hit and to do damage with that pitch. You know, the, the methods of occlusion, uh, very important that, that we're going to really cut things off and, and create our, you know, create this idea that we have to see the ball earlier. Uh, to me, the stand-ins are invaluable. It's something that we use daily. So Game Sense, this is where the occlusion comes in. We partnered with Game Sense and, uh, and they've been uh, very good. It, it helps us to track, it helps us to quantify our player development. Uh, we get a baseline test through Game Sense and we're able to, to watch that progress happen for each player. It kind of identifies a lot what we're seeing when we're looking at plate discipline stats. Uh, it just verifies that, hey, the, this is a player that's pretty good right out of the hand, or this is a player that needs a lot more work in, in uh, picking up the ball out of the hand. Uh, this fall, the Mizzou hitters, they've, com they've completed 20, you know, 20 to over 2,200 game sense drills. And, and when you put that into perspective, uh, that's almost 7,500 video occlusion ABs that they're, that they're taking over the, the fall period here. This may seem like a lot. Uh, again, it, uh, you know, as a player, sometimes we just want to be left alone and we want to go out and react. Uh, and that's exactly what we want for our players on game day. Uh, but we're going to push them and uh, really challenge them in a practice setting and making sure that, uh, you know, we're using the eyes, the brains and the hands so that when we get to game day that we can put things on autopilot and we trust that pep preparation. We know we're prepared and we just go out as very confident hitters.